Well, hello everyone. This is Etho, and welcome, guys, to a new series that we're starting today. Surprise! <laughs> this is Terra Firma Craft. Terra Firma Craft. It's a, uh, it's a modded version of Minecraft. Uh, I've always been very curious about this mod, and it wasn't until the other day I saw Pat and Arcus playing it, and I finally, oh, look at that mountain over there. <laughs> I finally understood what the mod was about, kind of, and I decided to try it myself. And, uh, you know what? It looks pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. And I decided, let's try make a series out of it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, give it a try. And, uh, yeah. I guess, <laughs> as, I, as I'm talking here, let's just collect some of these rocks on the ground, because we're going to need these. Uh, it's very different from vanilla Minecraft. Uh, but it's not like... It's not like jetpacks and nuclear bombs and that kind of stuff. Not that kind of modded Minecraft. This is this mod is focused on like survival. Um, it takes survival Minecraft to a new level. It's kind of like you know that first day in Minecraft <laughs> when when it turns night and the monsters come out and you're scared and you don't know what to do. And that's how I feel right now, <laughs> except times uh, times ten because this. This mod is very unforgiving if you make mistakes. Um, it also kind of focuses on realism too in the game, so it's not uh, not so crazy. <laughs> I, I don't think you can punch trees even, although I don't. I never did try that. We should try that. Uh, you actually have to use tools to cut down the tree to start off with, I believe. Um, so that's pretty cool. I. I wonder what this is. Oh, beans. Sweet. We got food. So that green bar, this green bar over here, that's my hunger. The blue bar below that is my thirst level. And there's even like nutrition levels. <laughs> your five your five uh, nutrient requirements. Nutrient requirements? No, not nutrient requirements. There's lots of nutrients. Food groups. Food groups, yeah. Um there's like different seasons and it keeps track of what day you're on and I believe the temperature changes as the season does and different crops grow at different times I, I'm pretty sure and I don't know if there's like if you can freeze to death or anything like that I'm not sure about that but that would be pretty cool too <laughs> I hope that I hope that's possible um, yeah so this I was a little scared to try this out at first. Oh, we got some cows. Let's go where the grass is greener. You know, you know that's where I want to be. I was scared to try this mod out at first because I thought it was going to be tough to install, but it's actually really simple. Um, there's some sticks on the ground here too. We're going to need these. I wonder if I should be taking this stuff. I'm not too sure. Uh, but to install this, you... Uh, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'm going to apologize in advance to anybody that's familiar with this mod. I'm pretty new to it myself. I just got it. Uh, I've played the Stone Age. I haven't made any metal tools or anything like that. So I j I'm going to get through this first episode, and then beyond that, I'm going to be scratching my head a little bit. <laughs> um, so don't be afraid to correct my mistakes or uh, give me tips or anything like that. I don't mind. But... Uh, if you don't know what this mod is about and you want to try it yourself, um, it's really easy to get it. You just need to get Forge uh, 1.6.4 and you install that, create a new profile for Forge, new directory, and then put, put the Terra Firmacraft mod in the mod folder for Forge and you are done. <laughs> it, it's two files, takes takes minutes to install, it's awesome. All right, so why am I collecting all these stones? Well, the way the crafting works, uh, there's there's this thing called napping. I believe it's what it's called. Yeah, napping. Um, if, if I right-click with this, it opens up like the crafting menu, but it's not our usual crafting menu. It's this, like, I think it's a 5x5 five five grid, and you etch out the tool you want. Uh, so I want some knife blades to start off with here, and that's each of these is like a knife blade, so if I do that, we get two. Um, and then with that, you can attach the blade head to a stick, and we have a stone knife. Does 40, 40 attack damage, really. 
it's not like <laughs> it's not like Minecraft damage where where Diamond Sword does you know only a little bit. It's right now I think I have a ton of health, uh, but you take a ton of damage too. Everything's like amplified uh, in terms of damage count and all that. So if I take this knife and I break these, I then get this uh, straw stuff. And we're going to use that to build our first house, which I definitely want to get done before nighttime. <laughs> if I just break these, I get nothing, so I have to use this tool. Um, so I'm going to collect a bunch of this. And we'll probably set up in this biome because I like the grass color and there's lots of trees around. Maybe we can find like some animals too, that would be cool. Let's go ahead and eat something. So this is green beans. 15.7 ounces. It's a vegetable. And if I eat that, how much is that going to recover? Okay, it gave us like one tick in our bar. Went like from there to there. Um, and that consumed 10.7. The durability is like how close it is to rotting, I believe. Not how much food is there. So we got 5.7 left. Can we combine these? 16.7. Let's try combine them. Oh yeah, you can. Look at that. I taught myself something. <laughs> I can I can go to bed happy tonight. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty sweet. I was, I was worried like should I get all these green beans? They're going to fill up my inventory and that's not going to be very good. I think there's Oh, okay, there's a limit of 160, though, I believe, this is the way that works. Okay, this this does rot, though, so I don't want to get too much food. If I, if I get all the food in this area, oops, and then I leave nothing for later, <laughs> I am in big trouble. Uh, it's not like vanilla Minecraft where you get, where you can get, like, a, a seed from a piece of grass, grow some wheat, and in no time you have a giant wheat field of infinite food and then you go you go mining for 20 minutes and you practically got full diamond armor and <laughs> you're set for life it's it's not like that you have to really struggle for food and for for your armor and your tools and stuff all right so if we take this we can do that and we get thatch and that's that's like a building block if I cut down these trees, by the way, let's see, let's let's make a an axe. Uh, so to make an axe head, we do this, I believe. Yep, stone axe head. Different materials have different durability and and it chops it at different rates and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we were gonna try punch this too. <laughs> Can we punch a tree down? It does not look like it, so let's try chop it down. Oh my goodness, this is going to take forever. This is not a very good tool. Come on. There we go. And you don't get wood from it, you get logs. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess normally you get logs, but they're different. They're not like... We can't make planks out of them and then build a house from it. It doesn't work like that. Um, we are getting mob spawning already. Should I set up here, maybe? We do have food. Tell you what, I'm going to make a little straw hut here. Or try to, anyway. Um, I think we can make a fire, too. So to make a fire, you need a fire starter. And you have to throw three sticks on the ground <laughs> it's very weird and then you right click them yeah there we go I remembered I'm doing pretty good here then I think you have to keep it fueled and I think I can make torches oh I can't remember how to make torches maybe we need sticks for torches let's uh let's try get some sticks here I totally forgot how to make torches <laughs> I was on such a roll too. Is it not uh Oh, it's lit. Oh, look at that. Look look what I did. <laughs> oh yeah. Sweet. All right, we got torches. <laughs> Big deal. 
Can I pat myself on the back anymore? I... If I get through this night, I'll be happy. If we survive. Um, let's see. We're going to build a little straw hut here. That offers no protection. <laughs> I just want something that looks cool. Um, we will put a beam here. This is like the only block I think I can make right now, actually. Uh, I could get soil. The thing about this this uh, mod, though, you can't even like just dig in for the night because stuff can cave in, uh, which is a pretty cool uh, dynamic to mining and all that. And this, like, like all the blocks have gravity basically, and they will fall if they are not supported. We need more more of this stuff. Should we try out our torch? Did I leave the torch? Oh, I left the torch in there. Let's check on our fire. We're going to put one more in. Keep it going. What happened to my torches? Did I, oh, I placed them already. I didn't even realize that. Huh. <laughs> Alright, so let's put them on our, our house there. We'll carry one with us so we can have some light. Um, I'm going to cut down some more of this. Finish off our shelter. And, uh, let's see, we're still doing okay on our food, and our our thirst is okay, that's good. Hasn't been a lot of mobs around here. You know what I really need, actually? See, I'm all out of sticks. I believe you can get sticks from leaves. Let's break some of these. Oh, did we get one? Oh, we got a sapling. I was uh, I was actually wondering about that. If you can get saplings from breaking leaves, it turns out you can. Um, oh, there we go. We got a stick. My goal in this, by the way, since it's like such a survival-focused mod, I'm not like <laughs> I'm not gonna kill myself to refill my hunger or anything like that. Every death must be avoided at all costs. Um, is the way I'm gonna be playing this. Let's see, what do I want to do? I wanted to make a javelin. So make a javelin. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> and I think I, you lose the materials too if you make a mistake like that. There's no way to undo it. Um, is it this? Yeah, there we go. Stone javelin head. Cool. So this, is go this is our basic weapon. There's no sword or anything that you can make off the bat. This is your like basic weapon uh, which I've never actually made before <laughs> believe it or not so maybe we should try it out I don't know if you throw it I'm guessing you throw it We're, we almost finished our shelter here which is pretty cool oh let's see let's get this hopefully it'll be day soon and we can start doing some more stuff here eat up a little bit and we just lost another knife <laughs> all right okay the zombies on us it looks like it's something you throw as I would have expected can I get it back <laughs> oh I can sweet oh but it took durability oh no take that zombie oh no <laughs> uh, health is oh snake a couple of those health is different in this too it doesn't recover very quickly like normal minecraft all right we might have to bail here <laughs> I kind of thought I would be able to kill him but I guess not and they found our home Ooh, there's more of this what is this oh it's copper nuggets awesome we need those my home. <laughs> I can't like, I can't punch these guys to death. I don't think you actually need a weapon, or else it takes a very long time. And I don't think the axe does very much damage either. Oh, he's getting swirly effects. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Survive at all costs, even if you have to run away. I will do it. I 
I don't care if I'm a coward. All right. Kind of made a shelter at least. This is nice, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I think we have to leave this area. Things are getting getting bad. Maybe we can explore a little bit at night. It's almost daytime. Let's see what else do we have here? I don't know how grindy this mod is going to be or how much I should do off camera. Um Let's see. I think what we need to do is kind of find some clay to get to our metal tool tier. I think this is... Actually, I don't know what this is. You know what I should have did is made a bunch of javelins. Because <laughs> I am not safe anywhere now. Probably should have left those two because that's food that that was in the middle of growing. All right. Oh no. Keep it moving. He's got a sword. Oh, this is getting bad. Oh, I just ran right by a guy. I didn't even see him. Oh no. Oh, there's Enderman. Okay. Whoa. Oh, thank goodness. It's almost day. I've totally lost my shelter, too, by the way. Oh, what is this guy? Hello! <laughs> is it a... It's not a chicken. That, that's like a pheasant or something, isn't it? Hey! You are... You are watching protein, is all I see. Oh, no! Keep it moving... I think in this, though, it's not wise to just kill all the animals <laughs> you see, because I don't think they respawn. You kind of want to save them and, and like, try to breed them, I believe. Otherwise, you will run out of food in no time. Oh, man. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get out of here. We're, we're half dead right now. Good. Things are dying. Kind of one of my goals here as well is to make my way towards the equator, I believe, because the grass is greener there, I think. And I want to go where the grass is the greenest. So <laughs> we'll, we'll probably build a base here, but uh, if we continue the series for long, we will try to make our way towards the equator. And my goal also is... Uh, prosperity i want to <laughs> i want to get all the food in the world and and all the animals and all the trees and types of wood and and uh basically collect everything <laughs> and have an abundance of everything it is my main goal in this is this a different biome this looks like is this what we started in okay here we go here we go i believe these flowers mean this is clay in this area. So let's make a shovel head, which is... My guy's getting pretty thirsty here too. Stone shovel head. Alright, and we will do that and... Yeah, there we go. We got clay. Sweet! Alright. We're gonna need clay um, to make a kiln to to melt down this copper and then to like make copper tools um, we cannot make a pick I know uh, using just stone tools you need to use metal for that tell you what let's uh, let's take a moment here we will dip our feet in the in the water <laughs> our guy he he needs a he needs a rest. And I believe he can drink water through his feet. Let's watch that blue bar. And as we're here... Actually, it hasn't gone up at all. I kind of thought it would. Do we have to go all the way under? 
Uh oh. <laughs> uh, I was sort of depending on this for my thirst. If this is not how I can recover thirst, I'm in trouble. Uh, I was going to take a moment here to check out what we got in our inventory too, because we picked up a lot of things I, I didn't really pay attention to. So this is called Goldenrod. Okay. Yeah, we're not getting any thirst. Uh oh. Um, ten units. Can I make tools from this? No. If I right click, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, it says ten units. Maybe I need ten before I can do anything with it. Uh, we got eighteen clay. We got eleven bean seeds. Six wheat seeds. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't recover any thirst. Oh no. I wonder if beans are pretty uh pretty juicy, shouldn't they? No, they don't do it either. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get on, on this then. I uh I need to make a vessel. And I've never done that before, so I'm gonna fumble through this. And uh Okay, we got cows here. This is where we started, I'm pretty sure, and if if my head compass is pointing me in the right direction. I believe we need to go here to get back to our straw hut. I think we did a full loop there. Can I not sprint anymore? Oh no. <laughs> I'm falling apart, guys. This isn't good. Is it because I'm thirsty? I'm not sure. Oh, it's our straw hut. Sweet. Okay, there's some some goodness in this world. Um, let's try make, make a vessel. I'm going to have to check the wiki on this because there's two clay recipes. I'm not sure which one is which, or there's three or something like that. Uh, I want to make sure I get the right one. All right. I have returned with the knowledge of the wiki and right click. Don't mess this up. <laughs> I don't have much clay and I really, really need this. We want to make like a coffee mug type of thing. Do that, give it a handle. There we go, clay jug. Should we make another item? Let's make a vessel too. I think we can afford it. Clay vessel. Do one more. I might mess this one up. <laughs> I'm going off of memory now. Oh, I did it. Clay mold. Hold shift. Okay, not exactly sure what the clay mold is for, if I have to do another step to it. I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that, though. <laughs> We're going to fire these now. Let's see, do I still have my shovel? No. Did, oh, yeah, I do. I'm just blind. All right, let's open this up. We are going to place these, and we got to fire them in a, in a kiln. So if I hold shift and right-click, put some down. We can't use them until they've they've been cooked, and hopefully it doesn't take too long because we're <laughs> we're we're in a little bit of trouble here. We're down to two two bars on our thirst. One, two, three, four, five, six. I believe we need eight. Uh, let's make some more knives. Okay, I'm getting used to this. A totally different experience, isn't it, than, than normal Minecraft? It's pretty fun. All right, and now we need logs. We have three hickory logs still. Right, right click. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's get a few more. We'll have to chop down another tree. Uh, I think trees we have to be careful with too. I don't think we can just like bone meal a sapling. I think they take forever to grow. Oh wow. <laughs> did you see what I did there? I like took down two. It like fell on the other one and took it out with it like a domino. You have to imagine it. <laughs> it didn't actually happen that way. Alright. Put this down. Good. And I didn't really read the last stage of this but I'm guessing I need a fire starter. Uh, 
I might be returning to the wiki. Oh, snap. I'm running out of out of time here. Should I try I, I haven't tried left clicking yet. Stop face bombing, guys. No, that's not it. Okay, I'm checking wiki. Um it says use a fire starter, which is what I was trying. Maybe I need the sticks on top. <laughs> it's going to make a fire on top of this thing, but not actually light it, I'm guessing. Oh, come on. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Could it be? Maybe I'm not supposed to mix and match the wood types. Let's just do eight chestnut. Oops. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. This mod is too advanced for me. Um. Um. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it until I get it off camera. Fire! <laughs> I have created fire! Me! I did this! <laughs> oh, Castaway. Awesome movie. Uh, I had to make an actual pit. I needed to put blocks beside it. Um, the screenshot I was looking at on how to do it, though, did not show that. Do I burn if I... Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's not burn. So hopefully this will uh, go quick enough that we won't die from thirst. This fire is still going, surprisingly, I think. I'm wondering also, can we dispatch our shelter? Yes, we can. Okay. Do I need a tool? I think I used an axe on that. Okay. Because we're looking out at this like barren desert terrain, which isn't very nice. I think I want to move my location to somewhere a little, a little prettier. Oh, snap. <laughs> Will I survive, guys? I'm not even going to be able to run away from mobs tonight. It's the sad thing. So, this is our only hope right here. Yep. I'm going to I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. And hopefully this will finish up before I die. Alright, I dismantled the shelter here. I know I said dispatched before. I meant dismantled. <laughs> And uh, this just finished, which is awesome. I am very close to death. Now I need to learn how to use this. Also need to learn how to pick them up. Hmm. Made a bunch of javelins. I've learned from last night. Did I get them? Phew. <laughs> the last thing I would want there is to destroy them all. All right, we're on the very tippy tippy toes of death right now. I'm pretty sure I gained thirst, not gained thirst, you know. I dealt with my thirst by sitting in water before. Unless I have to just like move around in it. So I'm gonna try this one more time. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. All right. Can I right click? Please tell me I can. Oh. Sneak and right click to place object. I don't want to place it. I want to drink with it. Uh oh. That be in the water. Oh, great wiki. <laughs> what knowledge do you have for me now? I might die because <laughs> I don't know how to drink water. <laughs> The wiki says right click on still water and then hold right click to drink. I'm right clicking. I'm holding right click. What am I doing wrong? I wonder if I'm looking at like an older version of, of the mod or something because a lot of these things are not working as I expect. <laughs> um, oops. Oh, that's a good way to wreck my torches. This is not for drinking, this one. Ah, 
See, if it was realistic, I would expect I would need to cook it over a fire or something to to get rid of the pathogens and all that nasty stuff. I'm so close to dead. Huh. No water to be found here. Oh, thank goodness. I found water I can drink. Oh, give me that good stuff. Whew. <laughs> I'm guessing I can't drink ocean water. And I guess this isn't considered ocean water, maybe? I think that's what the deal was. This game, this mod, holy smokes. <laughs> it, it It's not kidding about the whole survival thing. But this is ocean water right here, right? I don't know. I guess there's some plants that maybe refine it a little bit, but I call foul on that one. <laughs> They're connected water streams. They would have the same salt level as the ocean water. <laughs> anyway, I solved that problem. I moved a little ways away from our our original base there. Not too far. I think the, the pheasant we found is like just up on that hill there. Um, so far this this is pretty fun though. I like it. I like the challenge of like staying alive and and making tools and all that fun stuff. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the series. If you like it or not. Um, how many episodes I do in that is, is going to be totally based on what you guys think of it and whether or not you want more. <laughs> so, so let me know. And Again, if this looks like something you would like, go ahead and give it a try. Oh, what what happened here? Oh. Oh. It's more than I can even handle. Wow. All right. Should I put the vessel down? <laughs> we might need to save this stuff. Shift, right click. Or, or not, no. I did that wrong. Here. I can't let all this meat go to waste. We gotta eat this tonight. It's protein. 160 ounces. Oh, it shows the decay percentage, too. That's cool. And there was a skin here. That's probably worth more than anything. Huh. What happened here? And there's bones? We will take the bones. Huh. Oh, another skin. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Yeah, so give it a try if it looks like something you guys like. Play along with me. Uh, oh, we got more clay over there. Cool. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.